What did you say to Lizzie's after the fight? I just went over and said congratulations. You know, it's just, uh, you know, the, the story is just mind-boggling. I mean, I'm sure you heard the story that night on the, my son's birthday party and took a bunch of his friends to dinner. And this kid that's sitting next to me, Adam, is just terrorizing me about this guy. Because they live out here. Him and his family live out here. And uh, he's like, I'm telling you, this guy's awesome. You need him. They love him in the area. It'll be big. It'll be this. I said, all right, kid. I'm going to do it. So I literally called Sean Shelby and told him to make the fight. And, uh, and then to be sitting there. The first couple minutes, you know, I, we tell the story of how a 17-year-old kid made this fight. And then the first two seconds, I was like, oh, yeah, and uh, but it worked out, you know. Are you going to take any more recommendations from him? I, I always, yeah, I might take another record. Yeah, that that kid's a rock star right now. He's he's loving it. If you go on his Instagram, it's all about uh, all about the fight and him making the fight. So it's it, it, it was pretty cool. It's a cool story, and uh, and uh, the fight was unbelievable. Costa said that the the fight against Adesanya is taking so long to 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 have a done deal that he told the UFC that he would be open to fight for an interim title. Does that make sense to you? Is this true? He told the UFC that he would fight another guy? No, they're going to fight. And that fight's going to happen. Yeah, just because he said that he told the UFC that he would like to fight for an interim title. Well, the fight took so long to get ready because he got hurt. <laughs> That's why the fight's taking so long. I mean, that fight was supposed to happen a long time ago. But he got hurt, so we've been waiting for him to get healed. Um, he's better now, and, you know, obviously the world is bad nuts right now, so we're, put, you know, we're, we're getting everything lined up, but that fight's going to happen. There's no need to do any other fights. What was it? Was it the way the fight ended with the headbutt involved? Was it the weight miss? What was it that you were like, hey, we got to do this one right it away? Was, it was both. It was everything. The, 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 that fight was uh, a no-brainer to redo. We, we, we had to redo it, so here we are. Now everything's perfect, so no excuses, no, you know, no controversy, hopefully, you know, hopefully we answer all the questions tomorrow night. You were kind of joking that you were nervous about Devison's weight, you know, yeah, yeah. before all the COVID stuff. I was there checking in with them all day today, and he was on point, and, and uh, you, you know, I mean, I, I think we've talked about this a hundred times, is that, you know, it's, this is a hard business to run, when things are normal, and then you add all the stuff that's going on right now, it's just, it's, it's, uh, uh, it's pretty tough. It's pretty tough to do, yeah. but, but we're getting through it. We're doing it. For Joseph, I, mean, I think he's 35 at this point, man. He's been around the company for such a long time. Do you feel like this is kind of his last shot? Like it's now? Yeah, around? I'm sure he does too. You know, this is, uh, Benavidez is one of those guys, like no matter who, comes in contact with that guy, whether it's people at the PI, other fighters that train down there. Everybody likes Joe Benavides. He's a great guy. Um, you know, he's a hard worker. He, there's never any bullshit with him. It's all, you know, he's a straightforward kid. He's a good kid, so it's cool to see him get another opportunity at this point in his career. Uh, I'm happy for him. I want to ask you about the co-main event, uh, Kelvin Gastelum. Does it feel like kind of a crossroads fight for him? I mean, he had a, a fight of the year, one of the greatest all-time fights ever. He always kind of does. A, kind of a flat performance after that. Does it, does it feel like this is a, a crossroads at all? I don't know, man. That kid's always exciting. He's always in fun fights, and I think tomorrow night's going to be the same, too. I think that's a really fun fight. Um, you know, he's always in it. He's always right there. So... I don't know. We'll find out. I don't think it's a crossroads fight, though. You know, this is a kid that win, lose, or draw tomorrow night will still be in the top ten, will still always be exciting, and can pull out a win with one punch. Yeah. I want to ask you about a guy that fought, I guess, like 48 hours ago at this point. Kamzat Shemaev uh, is around the hotel saying he's cutting weight, trying to get another fight uh, on this upcoming fight card before Fight Island's over. Um, is that... Yeah, had listen, he asked me to that night. I said, why not? Yeah, all right, let's do it. Are you trying to find somebody for him? Yeah, we are. Is he done, or are you still looking for somebody? Um, as far as I know, we're still looking. Is Mick in here? Mick can never get out of here fast enough, can he? <laughs> 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 uh, yeah, he's, he's working on something for him right now. How serious are you? I mean, is there a possibility that maybe August doesn't happen at the Apex? Can you imagine? Can you imagine? I mean, I don't know. I, I, listen, I'm always, always a worst-case scenario guy. I'm always looking at what, you know, the possibilities aren't. I was thinking this two months ago, not, not just now. 
But, um, you know, you ask any of my guys, they'll tell you, I've been saying, you think this is just going away? People are like, ah, oh, the heat, when the heat comes, well, there's a lot of places out there right now that are hot that are still dealing with this, with this thing. So I, I don't see what the heat has to do with it. Um, and, and I don't know. So like I say, nobody seems to be an expert on this thing, but, you know, I have, I have some backup plans. It's not ideal. It's not what I want to do. I want to stay in Vegas. I think we've proved not only in, in, in Vegas, but in other parts of the world and other parts of the country, we can pull this off safely and, 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 and not hurt anybody. And uh, hopefully we have that opportunity to do that in, in, in our hometown where it would be a lot safer for all of us. So I hope that's the case. We'll see. Last question for me. Uh, Colby Covington is taking to social media, posting a contract that he had with Tyron Woodley that was supposed to happen in mid-August. He says Tyron's not taking it. Can you update us on that situation, if that fight's going to happen, when it might happen? It's a fight we're working on, you know. Listen, Woodley said he wanted to fight him, so, you know, Woodley's been talking about fighting Colby Covington since, uh, you know, Colby fought Usman. So it is true that, uh, that Colby – Sign the deal, and he's ready to go. So we're just waiting on Woodley. Henry Cejudo has been firing off at basically anyone near his weight division, Alex Volkanovski. Have you guys spoke since he retired, and is he potentially interested in coming back? No, we haven't talked. Cejudo is retired. I'm not. I told you guys last time, these guys that retire, I don't even think about them again. I'm already moving on to the, you know, I'm looking at tomorrow night. I'm looking at, you know, what's next, and all of a sudden I'm not thinking about those guys. If uh, you, I think you said to Kevin Ioli, you have a, a backup plan in America if Vegas is taken off the table, right? Say that again? Do you have a backup place you could go in the States? If yes, they, yes. Would you, knowing what we have here in Abu Dhabi, would you just try and get your currently scheduled events in America done and then just come over here for the foreseeable future, or would you try and stay in America? Yeah, no, I, I, we're going to do a lot of fights over here. I mean, if you look at how many international fights we do... Um, a year, you know, we do those here in Abu Dhabi, but, you know, we have to do some of these fights in the States. It's be tough to, this is quite a flight. <laughs>